Hey everybody, it's Dirty Gamer 9000 here. Welcome back to more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Okay, so the quick way to the mountains is to the north gate. So let's head there now, but first we gotta make the time go slower. Okay, and then we're gonna get our rubies, our, our 100 ruby chests that we can get so far. We'll start with the one here. Inside here. I don't know what the password is. That's, oh, man. Of course you want one, too. Everybody craves the bunny hood. Five, three, four, two. No? I just made that up. I always forget what this is. Four, three, five, two, one. Okay. Four, three, five, two. Okay, so let's get the... Let's get those rubies. There's a reason why I'm gonna be getting uh, 200 rubies. I'm not gonna put this in the bank or anything. We're going to be spending these this money. And this is just a quick way to get rubies that I can think of right now. Don't do that! I hate that skull troll. I'll probably eventually start cutting these trips. You know, maybe show you where maybe I'll meet you or something. Because after a while, it's gonna get tired of me just going into the treasure chest and start of every cycle and getting it. Okay, let me just. Thank you. Okay, so let's get the other one. And then we head to the north to uh to the mountains to the mountains. We're going to the mountains to see grandma's house apparently. I don't know. No, there's no grandma there, trust me. There's a grand well no, there's a dad, but there's no grandma, unfortunately. I don't think um Gorons have female genders. Which is weird, because then how do they reproduce? I don't know. Am I seriously talking about Gorons and their reproduction systems? I don't know. Whatever! <laughs> Let's just move on and actually get somewhere in this video besides talking about Gorons and their reproductive systems. So last time on Majora's Mask, we got the arrows in the Woodfall Temple. And because of that, we can use those arrows to get to the next area. That's the reason why we couldn't get there in the first place. I just want to see if I can get one more. There it is. Now let's get our arrows on the board here. We have 20. 20 is good enough. So let's do it. Let's do it. And let's do it proudly. So shooting it from here is a good way to, uh... Wait. Get this done quicker. And more accurate, I guess. And seeing that we did everything else around here already, we're gonna head over here and not mess with these Dogondos. So let's go. Now that we have more health, now will probably be a perfect time to, do, to deal with those Dogondos. But, whatever. So now if I actually- See, I had plenty of time in the last video to go up here, hit that with an arrow, and then get over here with- To the arrow statue. So now I'm- You know? But then again, I couldn't get the- I would've got the rubies, and then would've just arrow statued over here. Okay, so, let's get our blast mask out. Shield and do that. We could use bombs if we had any, but because we don't, we'll just do the, the cheap way and use the blast mask. Which makes bombs in this game totally useless. So, here we go. So, we actually now head to the actual area. So, we started out, we start out here in the mountain village, which contains only one house. So how is it a village? I don't know. We first start off with this guy over here. Try to explore this area. Whoa, ho, ho, yeah, up here. I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I'm very hungry and have gotten stuck up here. Oh, well, he seems to be wanting some food. A oh, hidden tech type, and why? Oh, like why is my story not working? Where are you going, dude? 
Yes, I don't think we've seen those. Those are tet tykes. We'll get more into those once we actually see more of them. So this guy is so cold, he's very hungry, and he's gonna want something something tough and hard to chew. So he can't forget that flavor. What's in this one? Oh, it's a heart. Okay, and see, the owl statue is right here. It doesn't take that long to get there. I could have just walked here, I tell ya. I would have could have picked up the Oh, I'm ready a bomb. Yeah, I'm just blowing up everything for no point reason. For no and for no real reason. Okay, so the first thing we actually want to do is actually head inside this house. This is the uh, mountain smithy. <laughs> Shut up! Just when was I having a good dream? Oh, welcome to the mountain smithy. But we take our time to make a good point. I'm Zabar, the owner. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Shut up over there, you creep! That huge bell is my assistant, Gabura. He's all brawn and all about the smartest of Deku stick. Say, did you come here to buy to have your sword sharpened? Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now because our because of this abnormal cold snapper been having. I see. See, our hearth is being frozen over. The way things are looking now, I won't be able to do any business until spring. So if I can just do something about that frozen hearth. <laughs> uh, what's that? You say if it has hot water, we can melt the ice for off the hunt? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, you Deku stick. Oh, he believes I ruined that thing. Long ago, there was a hot spring somewhere in the mountains near here. Bah, I don't believe such rubbish. Yeah, okay, he doesn't believe rubbish. Well, who, wait, who is he, Simon, with all this rubbish? Who, who does he want to be? He wants to be English? Jeez, saying rubbish. Alright. Anyway, enough about, uh... Pop stars and whatnot. Let's head to this next area. Go on, village ahead. Beware of white buffaloes. Oh boy. Well, we've already seen the other kinds of buffaloes as we get more into a tech tight here. Yeah. And look who I see up ahead. I think I think I see a tingle. That this doesn't even stand right. I think I see a tingle. All right. Let me get him out. Go! This is one of the reasons why I got some money. What's this? Yes, we've already heard you tingle over 8,256 billion times. In this Let's Play already. So we're just gonna buy Snowhead. Yippee! And we get Snowhead, and now look where this covers the map. This is this pretty much the whole northern area of the map. Look at that. Jeez, it just covered up that whole area. That whole area is Snowhead. Okay. So we can't do anything else here besides kill this guy, which really is pointless. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm gonna fall down. And so is he! Okay, we're having a battle still. He gone! And Link can't go up there, so now we're kind of stuck up here. As Tingle heads back to the sky. Something to point out is that there's a treasure chest down there. But how are we supposed to get down there? Jeez. They're frozen over like that. I don't care about you. Nope, I don't want to hear it, White Wiffles. This is Goron Village. Oops. This guy right here will open the door for us down here. There's a door down here that leads to a... Goron Shrine. So as you talk to him, he'll open the door for you. And over here we have another Deku flower. Thanks for stopping by and doing business in the focus of Goron delicacies. I'm sorry, but I can't do business with you if you're not a Goron. It's a regulation in the business of Scrub Association. I didn't know there was a business of Scrub Association, jeez. Ugh. Did, did you just say the herds that he has that he can only do business with Gorons? Jeez, now to talk to him as a Deku, you get more information from him. So let me just show that off just real quick. Let's do it. Hi! Thanks for stopping by. Who would have thought I'm in a tell Deku in a place like this? I sell bomb bags, but I'm focusing my marketing efforts on Gorons. 
What I really like to do is go back home and do business where I'm surrounded by trees and grass. But I can't do any... I can't open a business back home without following the proper procedures. Do you know what I mean? So sorry, you're not the one I should be talking to. Pay no attention to me. Now! If you have the swamp title deed, you give it to him. He won't accept the land title deed, because remember, he wants to go somewhere where trees are and stuff, so he wants the swamp title deed. But we don't have a swamp title deed, since he went back to the dawn of the first day. So keep that in mind. And look who we got over here, with a mysterious shadow. Ho ho, it's me again, fair child. Have my stone statues been of help? Yes, if I used them correctly. Well, it seems you have the strength to change the fate of this land as I expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But, if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. So, will you proceed? Yes. I believe! Ho hoot! You are the child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying forward that shrine across the way. So follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you, and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me! Ho hoot! I had to add the ho hoot in there because I ho hoot! Enough already in this video, so I'm gonna be stopping. So, we have to follow the feathers. Now, you see the feather's gonna do that and do that. And then it stops right there, so maybe we'll stop right there. And sure enough, we do. Whoa. Okay. So we head over here, and then we go to this one. Then we head to this one. Then we head to this one. And then over here, and boom, boom we did it. Ho oh, hoot! You have certainly been assertive of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item. I'm returning from here. Okay, so let's do it. Because I gotta use that item when we turn from here. So what do we have? We have none other than! So I actually can show this in, in a let's play instead of a magic jar. It's a... Lens of Truth! Gaze through it with a mysterious... Yeah, okay. Yes, and Drain's magic power. We all know this already. So yeah, if you watch my Ocarina on Time video, I got a magic jar as soon as I opened the treasure chest. So I kind of got a magic jar, not the Lens of Truth, which is kind of funny. And you can do this to get a couple treasure chests, which I'm going to do. Because that contains a 50 ruby chest. And if you lose one to two, there's another treasure chest right here, which is apparently being blocked by a Skotula. Which I am apparently going to blow up once I get the opportunity to. There we go! I was trying to blow him up, but he just kept getting my shield. So this right here... Is 20 rubies. I should have got that one instead. You can also blow these up. It takes a while for that bomb to recharge, so let me actually get the bombs I got. And place it down. Not throw it down, but place it down. Would be good as well. And you have to just hurt yourself. Um. Ooh, bombs? Okay, good. Oh, wait. Yeah, trying to do a spin attack while doing, um... While the blast mask is on, it's not gonna help you, buddy. Okay, so let's go. Now we did all that. That this that little shrine. So back to Goron Village. Now I'm gonna take a quick look, and then I'm gonna do this blind. Ha ha! Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna do it blind because apparently I'm not good at doing it blind. Let's see if I can do it blind. And then we go like this. Nope. <laughs> Okay, one more shot blind. Let me just make sure. Okay, do that way, that way, that way. Okay, so it's pretty much a back and forth motion. It's kind of like an, a diagonal back and forth motion, like over here. Yep, and then over here. No, okay, I'm done with that. I tried, but you know, it, it can't be helped that I suck. So. Of course, you know, you can't really see what I'm doing. 
And then we have this guy. Can you? Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. Okay, so let's follow him. Let's get the... Let's get our bunny hood out so we can follow him. Bunda 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 dun 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 Why am I just singing? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna beat you there, buddy. So, see ya! That right there, we cannot do anything about. Just like we can't do anything with the smithy area as well. Where is the guy that I need? Well, I know where he's going to appear, so I'm just gonna meet him there. I guess. In fact, this is where I'm going to end the video, right here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will wait for this guy to finally fly up here. And that's why I kind of didn't get him in another cutscene. Where is he? I'm Did I outrun him somewhere and I need to do a cutscene? That's probably what I need to do. Anyway, we will continue to follow him next time, okay? So this is Jersey Gamer 9000 saying so long, everybody, and I'll see you next time.